took a handful of shit, microwaved it, and then threw it at a wall. That's what will work. That's baseline today. Yeah. One guy was like, hey, what's the Black Hawk squat? And I was like, you mean the Black Hack squat? Fuck it, full sound. That's why you got video review. Why it's important to stay humble, uh, going through everything I have been through, is knowing that we're only one injury away from it all being over. Thought you were grabbing your shirt because you saw me coming. <laughs> you better, better, better so cover well. it up, man. How you doing? Good, man. Looks like that Thanksgiving food. Yeah, full. full yeah, full. yeah. Better watch out, man. You're looking a little, a little chubby there. Yeah. Back on the bike. He took a handful of shit, microwaved it, and then threw it at a wall. That's what will work. That's baseline today. That's how I'm feeling. Doing legs today. It's been a while since we've done legs here. Usually I like to do that one on my own so people don't see me cry. I haven't used the platforms at all here yet. Gym's been open like 10 days. I haven't been on any combo racks. I haven't used any kilos. You, I've been mostly fucking around with the machines, but I think today's today, man. I got to reestablish dominance, which is like mid-level here. <laughs> My lifts are like subpar. What's up, buddy? And they don't really have like good meal prep services around here that like cater to guys our size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was giving you all of those ones because I wasn't eating. And they don't taste. No, they're horrible. As good as I cook. No, Lauren, Lauren cooks great. Yeah. Although I handled breakfast this morning, I'd like everybody to know. There was this place I used to go to in LA, and it was right by Gold's Gym Venice. So I forget the name of the place. It was like this little Hawaiian place, but it was like basically eggs, ham, and rice, and you mix it with like this Hawaiian sauce. And it was fucking fire. So I made that for Lauren this morning. Not a big ham guy. Well, I like ham for Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's about it. But then I mix it with eggs, dude. Kilos. Serious. Actually, one of the features of the gym that the powerlifting side is all kilos. So we got no free weights, or uh, we got no pound plates on this side of the gym. Got kilo, 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 all the lifts, monolift, six combo racks. We still got one more monolift coming, and then the six deadlift platforms are all brand new replaced. Got a brand new uh, Kabuki bar. I've actually been really enjoying pulling kilos on it. And then you see these guys, all bumper plates. That's our chiropractor, Trevor, Dr. Trevor. He uh, uses the bumper plates to make it look really heavy. Yeah. The, bu the bumpers make it look really impressive. Platforms are really smooth. And it's feeling all right. You never know until you get to the heavier weight. I don't really deadlift often enough to really truly like evaluate where my strength is at. But I don't know, we'll see how the weight moves. I might go for a, a heavier triple or, or a heavier single. Singles tend to feel better just because I suck at reps right now. I've never been great at reps, but it's just like the, the energy is just too demanding when you get to a high enough weight. So it's like my body fatigues before my muscle fatigues. 
and then ends up like you, tr you atrophy. You don't create enough stimulus. So, over the years I've done different things and going heavier seems to work the best. But everything feels heavy now. <laughs> If I could make it to like 661 today, that'd be a good like 1MR for not pulling anything heavier than 600 in over a year. <laughs> Fuck it, full send. That's why you got video review. So like if your form starts breaking out, like your butt shooting up, or you're really yanking on the bar, those are things that you can work on, but you would call it like, the, the quality of the lift was not that good. Like, just because someone made a lift, like if you watch meets, you see it all the time, and people's knees cave in, or they're like rounding their back. So for me, like the lift looked good, it just felt really heavy. So if it looked good and it moved at a decent pace, which it did, um, you know, I felt confident to move up, but like, you know, I'm not in meat prep. I don't have expectations. If, the, if it starts feeling like shit, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm not gonna grind it out just for the gram. But like a 661 lift at this point, you know, like weeks away from a kidney transplant, four years deep on dialysis, like that's pretty crazy. Really, I shouldn't even be attempting this shit. Like, I'm not having a good day. I feel lightheaded. And if I was smart, I'd shut it down. But Fuck it, we here. Weeks before kidney transplant. Is it scheduled? No, it's not scheduled. Not, why you gotta bring that up? <laughs> oh my God. Well, we tried. And I also haven't taken like a cycle in a long time. Just run a TRT. Lower back's getting the fuck. But it's hard, it's like, it's a lot harder to gain strength. You know, in the beginning of dialysis, I would run little cycles here and there. You know, nothing crazy, just like bump my test to like 500. Bump that to like 400. It's a pretty good cycle, and I would get stronger. You guys would see like, oh, you, like you put on size, or oh, you, you look strong. And then when I came off, you know, the steroids work. People take cycles for a reason. You don't get to keep it all. If you did, we'd all only ever take one cycle. But, you know, health is my number one priority right now. And I'm working with a doctor and we're getting close. We should be weeks away, if not, you know, a few months from surgery. And, you know, I just got to maintain good blood work and focus on recovery right now. So working out, like, it's been tough through the move, I've missed a bunch. And it's hard to like, get into it again. It's just more of like, fuck, well, time to lift. Work out for a half hour and I'm dead. You know, I miss that dead, I feel pretty good. Strength is in the toilet, but as to be expected. Can't be strong doing barbell movements like two times a year. Just wish I was like more disciplined with barbell like I work out and I'll make myself work out but it's so easy for me to jump on the machines versus like loading up bars unloading bars oh dude it's so much better like it's, it's so much better 
and the results you'll get are better. Like, yeah, you can make the argument that machine, machines are just as good, and there's studies out there that show that you're not going to lose anything by using machines. But my best shape was always with barbells. You know, there's just more force production, and my body responds better to that. I'm like trained sprinter, jumper. I'm type two muscle fiber. Like I'm not an endurance athlete, and reps don't have never resonated well with me. But that's everybody. Like, oh, I could have been somebody if I would. If my femurs were just a little shorter, I would have been the best power lifter all time. Like, okay, dude. My arms are too long to bench. Okay. It's like, you get dealt the cards, you get dealt, man. Like, you gotta work with it. You're short, you're short. You're tall, you're tall. You're fat. That's something you can work on, but it's gonna be harder for you. Some people just have awkward shaped bodies. You got like wide ass hips and narrow shoulders. As a man, you look awkward. But it's out there, I've seen it. And it's like, it's not that dude's fault that he was born that way. It's not that dude's fault that he's short or tall or big nose, like her ears out. Like that's not their fault, but people make fun of him for it. So I'm just like, stay humble, man. There's like, everybody's got something. Stay humble because the universe has a way of doing it for you sometimes. Yeah. It's not what it used to be. And like everybody in the fitness world thinks they're special. Everybody thinks they deserve to have a bunch of followers. They deserve to be sponsored. They have all this knowledge. And it's like, dude, you, you, you studied nothing. You have no accreditations. Everything you learned is regurgitation off things off of YouTube. And you're even fucking that up. Some of them have like good physiques. I'll give them that. But is that enough now? I don't know. Like, there's a ton of people out there that are good looking, have good physiques, can present themselves well, actually are interesting. That's the big one a lot of people miss. Half these lifters, it's like talking to a brick wall. You're like, dude, you're boring. I remember one guy flew in and he was in Chicago, had never been to Chicago before. It's like a pretty big name lifter at the time. And they do the meet and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm from Chicago, like, what are you guys doing? You know, let's go out, I know some people. Now nah, we're gonna go back to the Airbnb and play video games. I'm like, what? Like, you've never been to this city before, don't you wanna explore it? Like, go eat some fucking street food, like, go, go have a good time for one night? No, we brought, I brought my PlayStation. Okay. Yeah, one guy was like, Hey, what's the Black Hawk squat? And I was like, you mean the Black Hack squat? Depends on the person. I think if you're doing like front squats and vertical loaded, like spine loaded activity, then you're already training your abs. So you need like specifically like crunches and things like that, I think are, are not as important as like doing motions as like rotation or planks. I would probably prioritize planks higher and then rotation second. And then after that, you know, I don't think it's really worth it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, it, if you're bodybuilding, I don't think it hurts. Like, but I'll have clients that are like, we need to do more ab work, I need more abs. And I'm like, really? You think it's the abs or the 30 pounds of fat you have on your belly? Because I think if you lost a little bit of weight, you might be happy with the result.